What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video, my name is Hostility and today we have a gameplay commentary and I haven't done one of these in a while but I have a new series and it's going to be called PC Gaming 101 and it's basically a series where I go over the changes that you have to make from going uh, through console to PC. So uh, it's designed to all you noobs out there, no I'm just kidding, all you guys adapting to PC, all you guys maybe just built their first PC and they are coming from console or you know who are wanting to change over and wanting to know what you know what you have to do to be able to switch over and all the tips and tricks that I give you and also for you veterans out there who are watching this video or the PC gaming veterans you can stick around or just disregard the videos but if you do have any like thing any points that I missed in the videos feel free to comment them below and also uh, I don't know if the game if the name uh, rather sounds really good so yeah if you do have a name suggestion please be sure to leave it in the comments below as well but without further ado let's get started on today's episode and it's gonna be about switching from mouse and keyboard or adapting to mouse and keyboard adjusting to mouse and keyboard a lot of ways to put it but this is probably one of the biggest changes that you will have to make when switching over from console because it's just a total new experience from anyone who's never played a, a game with a mouse and keyboard so um, all I can say is from uh, if you're switching from a controller is practice 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 just endless practice is the, all you can do to be able to adjust like it's they're both completely different things controller mouse and key uh, controller and mouse and keyboard they're two different skills like for me uh, I have never owned a console personally like uh, Xbox or uh, PlayStation I've never owned one and when I go to controller it feels absolutely different and you know I feel your guys' pain and then um, so yeah once you practice you maybe go in a private match or go into a noob server or something like that uh, practice and that's like I've said that so many times but it is how you get better at everything because they're two different skills, you can't really transfer over your MLG controller skills over to mouse and keyboard, it just doesn't work like that. Um, so yeah, uh, once you do get the hang of mouse and keyboard, I will feel, I guarantee you that you will regret all your controller days. I don't know, maybe you will, uh, maybe you won't. Like some games for me are better with controller, but you'll feel much more precision and more uh, more control over your game as mouse and keyboard has a lot more buttons and stuff and just you, you have a lot more control over your character as you're using a mouse with your whole hand rather than a controller with your thumb controlling like your view and stuff so yeah it's a really big change but just practice is all I can say now ways to improve your experience and practicing is by adjusting your key bindings so you know Unlike controller, you don't have like preset key bindings, so you don't have like the lefty ones or the nomad, whatever the hell uh, <laughs> Activision uses in their Call of Duty games or any other game for that matter. Um, you can set your key bindings custom, you can customize your key bindings, so you can like change your move, your melee, your grenade, anything. So uh, if you want me to do, if, if you want me to do a video on key bindings uh, or what I use as key bindings, please let me know. Uh, but yeah, you can customize them to whatever you want. It's absolutely endless. Well, I mean, over for the hundred and something keys that are on a keyboard. But yeah, the possibilities are just absolutely up to you. You know, whatever feels comfortable for you uh, is how you should run your mouse and keyboard bindings. Also, you can change change up the sensitivity of your mouse because you know if you have a high sensitivity, one little uh, one little bump of your mouse is just going to move your screen like twenty. Uh, I don't I don't know what I was meant to say, but it, it'll move your screen quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, change the sensitivity, and also there are customization apps for your mouse. Maybe uh, if you have a just like a normal regular mouse then you could probably search the internet for ones I've never done that before but I do have a Razer mouse and with that comes r with Razer Synapse alrighty guys so this is Razer Synapse which is basically Razer's version which lets you program keys and stuff like that so right now I am in the main menu where you get to choose your key binding and stuff I have my profile set to Black Ops 2 uh, but I usually use Windows if I'm not uh, doing anything so I just have that set to play and pause and to link that program to Spotify so whenever I open Spotify then uh, this profile will be used whenever I open Black Ops 2 this profile will be used so X for my EMPs and E for my melee and then I can adjust the sensitivity so I have it set to 3500 DPI at the moment and you can set the sensitivity in game as well and the acceleration as well 
We also have lighting effects, which we can do. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you guys at the moment because um, I don't have any face cam or anything, so yeah. Uh, you can play with the lighting settings, uh, have a complete stealth, or have them on for cool looks. Also, you can do surface calibration. So right now, I don't really have a mouse mat at the moment, so if you do have a razor mouse mat or something, uh, let me just turn it on here, you can select the mat and it actually, you know, it, all the different razor mats that uh, you might have bought from them, or you can just use your own mat and you can calibrate it by yourself right there. But right now, I have it off since um, my calibration is not very good. But there you go. This is an awesome program if you do have a razor mouse, and it's really recommended as you do get the bonuses of the side button programming and stuff like that. So that was an overview of Razer Synapse, lots of customization, and if you do have another gaming mouse, please be sure to check with the manufacturer if there is a customization app, because they actually really come in useful uh, to improve your game. Now, uh, just a note here at the end is that you don't need a beastly gaming mouse or keyboard for that matter to start your PC gaming career. Uh, I mean, I got my death at a, like, I don't know, probably maybe a year after I built my PC and I was using some crappy old $20 Logitech mouse before that and I was doing just fine. Um, also I still have my crappy Logitech keyboard which has a couple of keys falling out because of my rage so uh, yeah you don't need the best equipment to start off with like trust me when I say that but yeah you once you feel comfortable and once you really want to get into it then that is the time to be able to you know upgrade your mouse upgrade your keyboard whatever uh, but yeah, just make sure the mouse or keyboard is comfortable for you. Like, uh, when I was switching over from my Logitech to my Razer mouse, I felt it was a lot more ergonomic and just a lot easier to move the mouse as it was a lot, the hump was a lot bigger. I, I don't know, that's, that's, that's it for me. So, that's my, basically my opinion. If you do have any other opinions or anything you want to say, uh, especially you veterans who want to help out our brand new PC gaming friends, uh, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. But uh, apart from that, I think that's about it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please smash that like button for more episodes like this. And also, again, thank you to Clash Cat for the uh, series idea. And also subscribe for more content like this. By the way, guys, we're trying to get 100 subscribers by the end of May. So please help me reach my goal by asking your friends, family, whoever to subscribe, whoever would enjoy some of my gaming content. On the screen now are two videos. Uh, one of them is my previous video, which is a Black Ops 2 live video. And also the other video is a mystery video. To your right, there are my social media links. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and or Instagram is in the description below. And I guess that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.